Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Chris Heedy, and I am uh, an artist, uh, an actor, voice actor, puppeteer, and I, I wanted to put together this video because I wanted to, to talk with you about something that's really important to me, and, uh, and we'll get to that in a second, uh, but I, I want to tell you this story first. It was 1992, I was five years old, and my parents took me to a toy store in Ocean City. And in that toy store, I found um, an action figure. It was a lurch uh, from the Adams family. And I really wanted this. I really wanted this action figure. But my father had expressed uh, that, no, no, you're not going to get this because we've already bought these other things. And this is something that you have to earn. So you're going to do that through work and, uh, and, and patience. And to a five-year-old, that's like, an ungodly amount of time. That's a huge concept to try and wrap your mind around, a waiting. But, so we go out to dinner that evening and I'm sitting there and I'm drawing. And I, my parents, they could depend upon me drawing. That was something that I just did since the, since nine months old when I picked up a pen for the first time. They could leave me in a corner and then come two to three hours later and I would still be there drawing. As long as I had enough paper and the pen didn't dry out of ink, I could be lost in my world. And that evening, I was drawing Goofy. Um, I loved Goofy. I still love Goofy. And, and so, these two couples at the table next to us, they saw what I was doing. My mom tells a different, she says they're rich, they were rich doctors. So they look over and they say, oh, what are you drawing? And uh, I said, I'm drawing Goofy. And they were like, oh, well, could you draw one for me? And so I did. I drew Goofy for the, him. And he shows it off to his wife. And he's like, this is really good. It was probably terrible. But he was like, no, this is a really good thing. And the, the other guy was like, hey, no fair. I want one too. And they probably had a little too much to drink, but I said, don't worry, this one is going to have Max in it, his son. So I drew Goofy again, and I drew Max, and I gave it to them. They they thanked me for it, and then they, you know, eventually, um, we went back to our meal. And we didn't really think much more of it. But later that evening, as the, those two couples left, they left for me equivalent of like five dollars for my drawing. And, and I was then able to use that money to go back to the toy store to buy the Lurch action figure. And I had never, I had never been paid for my artwork before. At, at the age of five, I... <laughs> um, and when they did that, they instilled in me this notion that my drawings... I can, I can use my creativity to purchase the things that I need. And that, that philosophy has fueled me throughout my entire life and, and has always been what pushes me to pursue the arts. And, and I would not know the people that I know now because of that, that one reassurance, that one moment where, where people who, whether they were kidding or in a really good mood, either way, they supported a, a future artist. And that artist has gone on. And, and I, I went to the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I um, pursued puppetry. And all of those things are stuff that aren't necessarily surefire wins when it comes to what is going to be stable income down the road, but it's what, it's what I'm about. It's about, it's, it has been an emotional life raft throughout everything else in my entire life. When, uh, everything that every risk that I've taken when it comes to art has always been a, because of going back to that. This computer that I'm recording this with, I'm, I'm paying it off with art money. And that I think is a huge and important 
thing to instill in people. So if you see, if you see an artist, a, especially a young artist, especially somebody who is influential, support young artists because all you're doing is, is just, it, there's nothing bad that comes from it. Those are, those, however much money you invest in that person, whether it's a, it's a dollar or five or 10, it's money well spent. That person is going to go on and do amazing things for the world. We need our artists. We need people to be supported in that way. And art gives so much back to so many different people. It's a, it's, it's just a really good investment. So support local artists, support young artists because they need your support. They need your encouragement. They need to know that their dreams matter. Thank you. To those doctors who invested in me when I was five, thank you. I hope you'll do the same.